We no fans of the Tokyo Olympics later this month. This comes as COVID numbers in Japan increase, prompting a declaration of a new state of emergency. ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano spoke to two San Diego Olympians on the USA water polo team as they get ready to perform their best in a crowdless venue. Jesse Smith has an answer for Team USA. In just two and a half weeks, two San Diego men, 38-year-old Jesse Smith and 27-year-old Alex Bowen, will be on the world stage in Tokyo. We're going to try to tap into that, that USA energy and, and uh, give it the best shot we can. But that USA energy, or any fan energy for that matter, won't be present this time around. Due to the pandemic, Olympic officials announced Thursday that no spectators, foreign or Japanese, would be allowed at the Games. The lack of fans, the lack of uh, the friends and family that are coming along, um, it's, it's tough, but uh, I feel the support coming from all the way across the ocean. Olympic veteran Jesse Smith now will score. Smith, a Coronado High School alumnus and 2008 Beijing Games silver medalist, is making history as he becomes a five-time Olympian for USA water polo. <laughs> A dream come true for Bowen, a now two-time Olympian and Santana High School grad who is now playing alongside his idol. So I was 16. He came back uh, and helped out with, with San Diego Shores for a couple months. And it was, I was over the moon. It was awesome. The men admit it is disappointing to play without their families cheering them on, but are grateful they still get to play for their country. All the Olympians, uh, we're so lucky that we, we're going to have great connectivity through internet and uh, kind of continuation of all of the obstacles that everyone in the world's been facing over the last 18 months. It's not always the best team that wins, it's the most resilient. Resilient and focused with their eyes on the prize. Are you guys going to make San Diego proud? Yeah, we are. Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. We wish them all the best. The men will finish their training in Orange County and Hawaii in the coming days, then head to Tokyo. Team USA's first round match is against Japan on July 25th.